Hey, what's going on everyone? This is my second video today and I'm only making this because it's important. The GTX 1060 has leaked benchmarks out in the wild today. They show the 1060 coming out ahead of the RX 480 in many games, DX12 and DX11 alike. But is this leak credible? Let's get started. Alright everybody, we're going to be talking about an article that has surfaced on videocards.com. As always, all relevant links will be in the description below. The writer of this article posted a full quote unquote reviewer's guide to the GTX 1060 and pretty much it's a small book on how to make the GTX 1060 appear as nice as possible. The shady thing we're going to talk about is the GeForce GTX 1060 benchmarking guide. In it, there are some recommended games to bench, and some of them aren't even being used as benchmarks anywhere else, like Forza Motorsport 6 Apex, Star Wars Battlefront, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and Black Ops 3. Let's get on to the actual benchmark leak though. In Ashes of Singularity at 1080p in these settings, the 1060 comes out ahead by 2 FPS, in Forza, the 1060 comes out by 20 FPS, in Rise of the Tomb Raider, the 1060 is ahead by 10 FPS. In GTA, the 1060 is coming out ahead by 15 FPS. And in Shadow of Mortar at 1080p, the 1060 is ahead by 9 FPS. First of all, these numbers have been cherry picked, which isn't something new. Both Nvidia and AMD are guilty of this and there's nothing wrong with trying to make your product look good. But the problem I have with this, as pointed out by users over in the comment section, is that these numbers are either blatantly tampered with or are completely fake as we'll see in a little bit. So let's look at some DX11 titles, starting with Shadow of Mordor. We're given no specific settings, all we know is that the game was played at said resolution. We'll assume we're using standard settings for a benchmark like this from Guru3D and at Quad HD we're supposed to be getting 74 FPS on the RX 480. 44 FPS on the GTX 960 and 78 FPS with GTX 1060's equivalent, the GTX 980. Looking at the leak though, the 480 instead comes in exactly 20 FPS lower than Guru 3D, the 960 is 10 FPS behind as well, and yet the 1060 came out ahead of the GTX 980 by 10 FPS. We actually gained 10 FPS, whereas the two other cards lost a significant amount. The 1060 must be a beast of a card then, right? Well, let's look at GTA 5 now. Guru 3D shows the RX 480 with these settings and 1080p at 84 FPS, the 960 at 53 FPS, and the 980 at 88 FPS. In the leak, we see it with four times anti-aliasing instead. The RX 480 loses roughly half of its performance, dropping to 45.1 FPS. The 960 drops to 34 FPS, and the GTX 1060 shows up every single one with a smooth 60 FPS. Even at Quad HD and 4K, the 980 and RX 480 stay within 5 FPS of each other. Yet, switching from 2x MSAA to 4x makes the FPS gap so big you could fit a new GPU in there? Really. Think of it as you will, but the worst one here is Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now, the only anti-aliasing that Guru 3D used was FXAA, and right here we see that 2x SSA was used, so you'd assume the performance would actually see a dip, right? We did. We dropped 22 FPS from the RX 480's bench, and the GTX 1060 showed 51 FPS, whereas the 980 showed 76. This game runs better on Nvidia cards as we know because the RX 480 matches the GTX 970 in the Guru 3D benchmark, but the GTX 960 from the official benchmark here gained 1 FPS by switching on to 2x SSA. How is that possible? Again, cherry picking is fine, but some of this just doesn't add up. The 960 gaining FPS while the other two cards lose? The 980 and 480 staying within 5 FPS of each other, yet the leak showing a gap of 15 FPS when MSAA is turned up? I'm gonna go ahead and say that this whole leak is false, although I could be wrong, the comment section of the article agrees that something is up. 
Alright guys, thanks for tuning in to the video. If you want to see the article in question, make sure you go check them out in the description below. If you want to see more content like this though, please subscribe and drop a like. If you didn't like my style or something, please give this video a dislike and comment down below on what you'd like to see improved. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.